Hello everybody and welcome back to the Galactic Armory. We're continuing on with the Mando build. This is going to be episode 2 and we're going to be covering the leather that goes into this costume. And there's a bit more than you might think. So obviously he's got the leather shoulder band that goes around his chest and around to the back. He's also got the belt. His shins actually have leather wraps on them. And all the leather pieces are not very simple. There's a lot of pockets, uh, some weirdly shaped ones, and just a lot of leather in general. Now I knew I had no chance at doing all these parts justice, so this is one of the parts of the costume that I wanted to check out a small but quality shop and see what they got. Do like a little bit of a review, but also just like an item showcase and give them a shout out if the product is good. And wow, guys, this is what I was referring to in my first video, the product that just blew my socks off. So I'm very excited to show you guys what we've got today. Now the shop I wanted to check out is called Signs Industries. You guys can find a link to them in the description. Now they've done a few hundred sales and have been around since 2019, but they've already garnered quite the reputation on some of the Mandalorian build forums I've been checking out. So I was very eager to work with them on this. Let's check out the product listing real quick and see what we're gonna get. Now they've got some beautiful looking photos showing all the different pieces that come in this, and they have a lot of different variations for the set of leather. So you can either get the full set like I did, or you can whittle it down to individual pieces. The owner says he usually does runs of 20, so I'm sure he's got a big backlog with all the people that want to check out his work. So if the listing is sold out, don't be discouraged. Just send him a message and he'll put you on a list. Now I got the full set, which also includes the bullets. So I didn't really want to make those and they're made out of metal. So I thought it'd be really cool to have that along with the leather. Now the total for all this was $615. So a bit of the higher end, but I can tell you guys it was worth absolutely every penny for me. That's a decision you guys are gonna have to make on your own. Either way, let's get back to unboxing this thing and going over all the pieces that are included. Here's a close up look at the bullets that come with it. They've got some nice detailed lines on them and they're very clean and they fit very nicely into the slots that they're made for. Now you can't really tell, but they are pretty solid. I would guess that they're made out of aluminum, but I don't know that for sure. One of my favorite parts about this is that it has actual like working pockets. Uh, if you see me fiddling with the pouch here, it's got a little uh, strap to keep it closed, but those pockets are all over and they're going to be great. Here's the shin wrap with some of the larger bullets in it, and it's going to sit on top of the shin armor that I'm going to be making. Now here's a closer look at these bullets. They're a bit bigger than the ones on the upper body, but they still fit very nicely. Now here's the shin wrap. It comes in a couple different pieces and also comes with a working pocket. I've had people ask me why I didn't include a 3D file for this shin in my listing. Well, it's because it's supposed to be made out of leather, not 3D printed. So I was very happy when I saw that the listing also included this shin wrap. And the whole thing unfurls, so it should be easy enough to put on. Speaking of putting it on, let's go ahead and put it on the mannequin. I've got all the armor already attached to it, so this should fit right over it. After you complete your order on Etsy, the shop owner will send a message out to you asking for your measurements. So, so this was custom fit to me in the armor. So if you guys are worried about that, don't be. This thing is all cut to size. Now the belt connects pretty well. It's got a little latch into the leather to hold it in place. So that's the upper body. We've got a nice holster here. I do want to add the weapons, but it might have to come at a later date. If you guys know any good shops that make quality Mandalorian blasters, be sure and leave a link to them in the comments and I'll check them out. This whole kit is so awesome. Even though they'll be covered up by the cape, it's still got two of the bullets on the backside. Nobody will see it, but we'll know it's there and we'll know it's accurate. So that's how it looks on the mannequin. I'm gonna wait to put it on again until I have all of the armor finished and then we'll really get to appreciate it backed against that Beskar Chrome. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to check out Signs Industries in the description. The guy does phenomenal work. He was a real pleasure to work with and I can't recommend his shop more. Thanks for watching guys. I hope to see you all again in the next video.